Hi guys, I'm Rakita Nicole from RakitaNicole.com, R-E-K-I-T-A-N-I-C-O-L-E.com. Um, this is a video tutorial on how you can um, edit your photos using Photoshop uh, when you, you took a picture using your iPhone. And sometimes they don't come out as professional looking. And I'm here to show you how you can do that and make it look professional. Here goes. First click, I mean, find a um, photo that you want to edit. Um, I picked a photo I really like that I took with my iPhone. And I want to edit so that it looks professional. And with these shadows from my window, it doesn't look that great or that bright. So first what we're going to do is use the dodge tool. And it's over here. And it's, it looks like a little lollipop. And um, usually there's a little tool right here and it says dodge tool, burn tool, sponge tool. We're going to use the dodge tool. And so what we're going to do is that you hold your mouse and you use it like a brush. And you go over those shadows like I'm doing here. And then um, if you don't see any more changes, then click off of it again and then um, click back on your mouse and hold it down again and it will keep on brightening up every time you do that. And so I'm just going around the shadows. And still not as bright as I want it to be, so I'm going to click off my mouse and then I'm going to click again and keep dragging over it until I get it to where I want it to look. Keep dragging and dragging and dragging like a brush and you got to keep dipping the brush into your paint and that's is that's kind of what we're doing here and um, I'm trying to get it bright enough so it'll look great get around in those shadows okay so I think that's bright enough for me um, I might brush it up again in the future so then we are going to go to um, filter. Then you want to go to Cameron, not Cameron, that's my son's name, camera raw filter. I'm going to give it a while to open up. Okay, and so we want to increase this exposure a little bit, a tad bit, but not too much where it's too white, but just a tad bit, just a brighten it up a little bit um, and then you want to adjust the contrast to kind of give it a bolder look it's a bolder <laughs> um, kind of decrease the, sh the shadows kind of decrease it a little bit I say just a tad bit increase the highlights a little bit and then you want to increase the clarity just and you'll see why I'll increase the clarity a little bit. Um, let's do like a little bit more. Increase the vibrance. I want it to make it look a little dark. You don't want it to look too bright, but just a tad bit to give it a little bit color, more color. And, and you can adjust this as how you want it to look. And so I probably want to readjust the contrast a little bit. So I'm going to go to um, sharpening and I'm going to sharpen it a little bit. But then I'm going to go to luminance and that will decrease the um, noise reduction if you have a lot of noise in there. You don't want to look too fake like that. That looks too fake. So you want to keep it down a little bit, the luminance and then add the detail to it. And add a little contrast to it. Add a little color. And then um, these are some other things you could do. You can dehaze it. Um, I recommend, you know, just play around, but this is the way I make some of my photos look more professional and then you press okay now let's see what that does it should 
have a big difference in how it looks. And it does. And so that's how we got our picture to look more like this instead of, let's see, that. Ugh. And more like this. So that's it, friends. That's how you can edit your the pictures you take on your iPhone in Photoshop and make it look like a professional photo that you can use for your blog, your Instagram, or anything you want to use it for. And, um, and it looks great. So for more tips, visit me at RakitaNicole.com, R-E-K-I-T-A-N-I-C-O-L-E.com. I don't know why I'm saying it. But um, thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. Bye-bye.